I don't know if it's for you, but have you looked into relocating to Woodland, Washington? It's located on the border of Clark and Cowlitz County here in Southwest Washington, and it is an amazing place to live. Hi, my name is Cassandra Marks, also known as Realtor Cass, and I am so excited because it sounds like you have thought about Woodland, Washington, and it's a pretty sweet city. We're gonna go get on my desktop and talk everything about what it is to live, eat, sleep, breathe, all the cool things to do in Woodland, Washington. So let's get going. Hello, welcome to my desktop. Today, we are talking about Woodland right there. It is 21 miles north of downtown Vancouver, and it is located on the border of Clark County and Cowlitz County. Most of the residents of Woodland live in Cowlitz County, but there's a little snub here in Clark County as well. So I love Woodland for a multitude of reasons. It is a very small town, yet kind of big. Um, it's not super big, but it's got a lot of what you need. So you don't need to be traveling super far to get to different things. So I want to talk a little bit about the food first, because obviously I love food. I just got done eating, but man, I, I love food. And one of my favorite places to go in Woodland, as soon as I get there, is the Rooster Brew Espresso Bar. So this espresso bar is a drive up. It's double, it's a little shack in a parking lot, but you can drive up on both sides and they have great coffee. They have phenomenal snacks in the fall and winter. I always like to do hot apple cider. And so this is a great place to get it, but it's definitely one of the places that I go all the time when I visit Woodland. Other really delicious food happens to be Daddy D's Southern Barbecue. That is an amazing location and it has really good barbecue. I mean, tacos are obviously my number one, but barbecues is a very close number two for me. And they just have really good food. I've never been disappointed going there. So it opens, it's not open on Mondays, by the way. So you know it's a good place when they're not open seven days a week. They uh, take some time off for their people. The other place that I really love in town is, it says taco restaurant, but is kind of, but not a taco restaurant. It is actually a food truck and their tacos are flipping amazing. There it is, my little taco truck. It is fantastic. And you know that the taco joint is good, especially when you see the radishes. I love those. Um, I am a sucker for pulled pork, any sort. I mean, I love the chicken ones. It's so good. I'm just like thinking about tacos now and it's not even Taco Tuesday. Well, obviously Taco Tuesday is gonna happen here soon. Um, but there is a whole slew of different places to get food here in Woodland. So obviously uh, I-5 runs through the middle. So there's a little bit of Woodland on this side, a little bit of Woodland on this side. And there's also the little downtown area, which is down here. And honestly, there is so much Mexican food in Woodland. It's all really, really good. I love it. The uh, teriyaki spice isn't too bad either. So those are just some of my favorite food places here in Woodland. Some activities that I thoroughly enjoy in Woodland. Let's start right away at Horseshoe Lake Park. Horseshoe Lake Park is right here. Let me zoom out just so you can kind of get an, okay, Horseshoe. Okay, we see where it gets its name. But the park itself is really cool. And always, every time I drive past there, I've, I've driven past like six or seven times in the last like three weeks and it's always full of cars. There's also a skate park there, which is really cool, and a playground. They do a ton of fireworks on the 4th of July. There's always something going on at the lake. It's just phenomenal little place. There you go, you can see it there. So that's one thing I like. The other thing that Woodland is very known for is their flowers. And not only do they have this lilac garden, which is beautiful and a great place to visit in the spring. You can see I've taken my mom there and she just absolutely loved it. Like the lilacs are so beautiful and they smell so amazing. Like every single one of them has an amazing smell. So they got rhododendrons and where are they? So here's some of the lilacs and there was one on here that, oh, this one, I totally saw this plant and it was just, I love how it's trimmed out in white. Super duper beautiful, right? 
But that's not the only flowers in town. So if you zoom out a little bit here and we zoom back in, Holland America has a flower garden here on the south end of Woodland. There you go. Ta-da. And the tulips are amazing. Obviously, they bloom in about April, a little bit of May. Most of the tulip gardens are open for the month of April. It just kind of depends on the weather, but look how beautiful. There's so many different varieties. You can buy flowers, you can take pictures. There's all sorts of other like knickknacks and um, stuff that you can buy. Look how tall the necks are on these tulips. There's so many different beautiful varieties. I absolutely love it. Great place to visit in the springtime as well. So there's that. The other fun thing that I really, really, really like in town, and you might think I'm kind of funny and weird, but I, so I grew up in Minnesota. And what is one thing people do in Minnesota? Well, they fish and they fish and they fish and they fish. Well, Lemon Glass has their store and warehouse and right here in Woodland, Washington. Kind of a random place, but obviously they're 100% USA made and they have great rods, great blanks, amazing customer service. I know we had broken a rod and called them their customer service and they replaced it so quickly. It was amazing. I was super happy with their customer service, but Overall, super cool place. It's kind of funny that it's in Woodland, Washington. I feel like I wouldn't expect it to be somewhere like that, but it is there. And so let's see right there, my fish. I do fish. Um, one of my favorites fish to catch when I was growing up were the largemouth bass because they would jump out of the water and it was so much fun. Since then, I have been doing a lot of river fishing here in the Pacific Northwest and uh, trout can be a lot of fun. And so can the salmon. Those are some cool things. One other really, really cool thing that's not necessarily located right directly in Woodland. Um, let's leave this map here, but I wanna pull this map up of the Cedar Creek Grist Mill. So Woodland is over here, like way over here. And you take Hayes Road, kind of goes through and eventually turns into Cedar Creek Road and brings you all the way over here to the mill. So what's cool about this mill? It's only open on the weekends and it is basically on the National Register of Historic Places. Look how cool this is. It was obviously built in 1876 and it is a water powered grain grinding mill. And they have tons of different events there and you can go out. So some of the events that have already happened this year is they have different days on the weekends. They're really only open on the weekends and sometimes during the week. But one I'm looking forward to is the apple cider pressing day. It's on October 28th. Um, I love apple cider. And so it's a really fun time to go out there. They have music and they just kind of hang out and you can go and see them turn all these apples into apple cider. So that is a really cool location. I know it's a little bit out of Woodland, but it is a really cool place. So now that we've talked about food and we've talked a little bit about things to do, other other kind of foody, restauranty, shop stuff that we should talk about though really quick is that there is a Safeway here in town for grocery store. Um, there is, you know, when you zoom out and look at some of the towns around like La Center and Ridgefield, they don't really have too many. They're more bedroom community or they'll have like just a small little country store, but actually Woodland has a Safeway and a Walmart and they have the Safeway and Walmart. Otherwise you're looking at Longview or even coming back down into the Vancouver area to get those stores. So it's really nice to have those. So. Woodland's a little bit bigger than some of the neighboring towns, but it isn't tiny either. Now let's chat a little bit about housing and Woodland definitely has a lot of new build going on. And the first set of new build that I really like, let's just return down here towards Holland America. So Tulip Meadows by Garrett Customs Homes. So they've got a whole meadow down here. And let's pull that up right here. So Garrett Custom Homes is a really good builder here in the Pacific Northwest. And it looks like they've sold out a bunch of their lots, but they still have a few left. Um, looks like they got two acres here at eight. That's really close to the water, which will be amazing. But these are two acre home sites with go go gorgeous views and they start at about 800,000. 
I gotta be honest, if you're gonna move into this neighborhood, you're probably gonna spend a little over a million. I don't know how many of the 800,000s are gonna actually be there. And they have some pre-sale homes available. Obviously you're looking at like this one's 900. And then this one also includes a shop. You're a little over a million. Same with 855 Tulip Lane. You're at almost 1.2 million. They have some definitely good size homes. They're very beautiful. They do a really, really, really good job of building with their finishes. Their contractors and their subcontractors are very good. And some of the, they talk about a little bit about the amenities. I don't really know how much they're gonna have on site other than you just have two acres. It's very flat right there. You're close to the river. There's not really any trees. So there's gonna be landscaping and it's just gonna be two acre lots with houses on it in the area. But you're in a beautiful and pretty quiet area, I would say, of Woodland because there's not gonna be a ton of traffic out there. And the reason I say that is because not a lot of traffic comes out here. You might have some road noise from five, but from I-5, but it is quite a ways between the Lewis River and I-5 too. So the other new build that is going on that I do highly recommend is over here off of Lewis River Road. It is right here and it is Quail Meadows by Quail. And they have a whole bunch. They're located right off Mackenzie Road and 503 there. They have, you can see they have a bunch of lots still available for purchase. And then some lots that have been sold off already, obviously all the river ones, which the river, Lewis River is going to be right back here. All the river ones are gone except for number seven here. So I'm not quite sure why that one's not gone, but that might be a good one. The one thing I will say about new build is I always recommend that you use a realtor because the listing agent or the agent that is on site representing the home builder is has a fiduciary responsibility to the sellers. And if you sign on the dotted line to buy one of those without representation and a buyer's agent agreement with a realtor, you are responsible for understanding the entire contract. And do you know about inspections? You should be doing all of them. Do you know what rights you have when it comes to negotiating price? Because chances are you are still paying for the buyer's agent in the price that you're paying. So why not have a professional negotiate for you to make sure that all the repairs are done, all the, all the punch list items are done, everything is done to what you want. And they have, realtors have experience doing this day in and day out, not where most buyers of homes might only buy four, maybe five at most homes in their lifetime. I know that uh, in my life so far, I have probably purchased almost 10 homes. And so personally, on top of all the, the clients that I have helped buy and sell their homes. So understanding what is expected and what is normally to happen expectation wise when it comes to repairs or anything else and timelines, a realtor is going to know that or a good realtor should know that. So always, 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 when you're buying a new house, especially new build, make sure you have a realtor to help you do that. So other than that, one other note of building right now, and it's not homes, but it is something that's going on right here on the corner of Old Pacific Highway. So this is the northernmost exit to Woodland, and that's where the Walmart is. You come over here and you connect into Green Mountain Road. Right here in this corner, they are currently leveling out a bunch of land, and they're going to be putting a huge apartment complex in here. Multifamily, I think they said something like three, 350, maybe 400 doors. Really going to be able to give Woodland some more housing availability. And right now there is a few ball fields right here and right here around Hillsdale Road on this side as well. I'm not sure if those are going to be staying, but I do know that they have been building and leveling out an area for more ball fields up here as well. So that is going on right here. I'm believing they're going to be redoing a bunch of the road to accommodate all the traffic they're going to be adding. And I got to say, when it comes to houses, you want to drive a scary road. Hillsdale Road to me seemed very scary because I felt like I was going up the road and it was like this. I cannot imagine going down it in the winter because it's going to be snowy and icy and it is a little scary. But many of my clients, we have traveled up Green Mountain Road here. There is some beautiful homes up this road. 
and you can go up Green Mountain and drive up also like once you get up to the top of Hillsdale and you're more over here, very beautiful homes up in this area. So many of the homes on Green Mountain, they all have just absolutely stunning views of the Columbia River and of just the whole area here. Sometimes it's this direction, sometimes it's this direction. Just depends what side of the mountain you're on. But I've sold a couple homes up in here and if you want a view, this is the place to find it. Not only there, but you can go over here on the south side as well and cross over onto Pacific Highway and come down. You can go up a few of the roads over here, both Bratton Road and 389th and if, as you go up these roads and, and truck around, there's a few areas up in there. A lot of this is in woods as well. So you gotta find the right spot with the right house to get the view, but there's some killer houses up here as well. So there is a little bit about the housing area and you know, this is a good, good idea. I really love Woodland. It is super close to Vancouver. You know, like I said, it's 21 miles and it's about another 20 miles up to Longview. It's kind of right smack dab in the middle. And the one other really cool thing about Woodland is it's one of the two gateways to Mount St. Helens. So you're gonna take the road 503 here through Ariel, through Yale, through Cougar, past Lake Merwin, Lake Yale, the Swift Reservoir, and come up around here on the south and east side of Mount St. Helens. There is no road that goes all the way around Mount St. Helens. Like you get one side or the other. The other way to get to Mount St. Helens is to go up here to Castle Rock and take 504 out. Currently, the last I knew that there was a mudslide out here this spring, and they, I think it was right about here from this section and this got closed off. And so any cars that were up here got stranded and they airlifted a bunch of people out of there by helicopter and the cars just have to stay for now until they get their road cleared. I haven't heard if they've gotten it cleared, but they, I heard that they said it was gonna take about a year to clear it out because it's a ways up there. Uh, but it is a beautiful place. Woodland is an amazing town. It is such a gateway to both nature and to the city of Vancouver. Well, there is just about all the information that I know about Woodland, Washington. I'm sure I missed a few things, but if you've got more questions, please reach out to me. All my contact information is down below in the description. And I get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every single day who are looking to make this move to Woodland, Vancouver, Southwest Washington, or even Portland, Oregon. And I wanna make sure that you have all the information that you need before you make that move because I want you really to love it as much as I do before you get here. So regardless of if you're looking to make that move in the next nine days or nine months, I would love to hear from you and just wanna make sure that you have the information that you need. So again, my name is Cassandra Marks, also known as Realtor Cass. I'm a farmer with a wee little real estate problem. And thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to spend with me. I hope you found this video informational and until I see you again, bye.